So this place here, ooh, they do doors, <laughs> res door, residential doors, commercial doors, but they do a lot of molding, millwork. Oh, right there. Door units, custom millwork, moldings, wood windows, all that kind of stuff. This video is brought to you by Resdoor. Not really, but I guess, right? And this is probably one of the places, this is the first place we started coming to. Then we go to BMC too, those are probably the two main, main places. You can see they got a big stack of moldings back there. All back there, they got moldings, doors. They assemble doors back there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. I know it seems kind of ridiculous to wrap it up this much, but it's worth it. The stuff gets wet. It's a waste. It's just, it's literally just trash. It has no value. So now we're heading to DeWalt Factory Service to pick up the 18 gauge that's been in the shop for three weeks. Happy to have it back and go pick this thing up. Hopefully it's working good. There she is, boys. Chris, I'll tell you later. Driver fix as needed. So the good thing about this is they didn't charge me for it because it was under warranty. I just hope it's fixed good now. It should be good. This is, if, if anyone can fix it, it's these people. So we got Old Faithful back and then we got this DeWalt Precision Trim Blade. My buddy Vince told me these were good. I trust him, so we're gonna run that. Let's get on out of here. Before we get out of here, I'm gonna open this shirt from Matt Jackson at Next Level Carpentry. He sent me a shirt. Yes. What is this? DeWalt BS 1000. This was sent to me by Matt Jackson at Next Level Carpentry. You, if, this is a joke. You won't get the joke unless you go watch his video. Just go to Next Level Carpentry and look for his video. I'll link it. I'll link it in the description. It's the DeWalt board stretcher. BS 1000 and then, oh yeah, DeWalt. Measure once, cut twice. <laughs> Definitely fall. So how do you know when a blade is done? Well, dang, there's some dust build up in there. That MDF just gets everywhere. Well, you just want to inspect the teeth and you can see they're per pretty marred. I don't know if you could see that on the camera, but the best way is to cut something with the blade that's in question and if it's not cutting buttery like you wanted to or like I did when you first bought it it's time to replace it I know there's people who sharpen their blades or have their blades sharpened I'm not one of them as soon as the blade is noticeably tearing out material and not cutting buttery I change it so if it's ruining material then obviously it's time and I just cut a bunch of laminate flooring with this blade and that pretty much finished it off. That stuff just ruins saw blades. But this one was pretty much ready to go anyways. So that will be a wall hanger now. And then I'll get my new blade out. I'll just get it snug and we're good. It's 
why we want to see you right there. And then I'll just put the other piece on the other side and then I can start with the panel moldings. So before I really shoot this, I'm going to check it with my piece to make sure it's good on both sides. And once I'm happy with it, I'll shoot this piece I glued up together and then I'll glue this loose piece on. And that's really it for wrapping a pillar. That's pretty much how you do that. Always glue three sides and then kind of finesse fit the last piece. All right, so for this pillar, I went ahead and put some panel molding on it and I'm gonna put it on this side as well. And then we're pretty much done with this. So for this, I'm just using a cutoff of that three and a half inches. And then I say another cut off of the same thing at two inches, I cut that one. So once I have these in place, I'm gonna actually hold this in this hand first. I'll get this right here. And then I'll make sure I'm flush on this edge. And then I know I'll be flush over here, but just to check. Good. Now I just gotta shoot it. And I can remove this one. And then just kind of slide this down. And this thing has some play in it because it's just got those two nails. But as I push it over, it'll get right where it needs to be. These are 18 gauge nails. And by the way, the nail gun, it's working good. It just sounds like there's something in there. It sounds a little weird, but as long as it's working, that's all that matters. So I got my nail gun back out of the repairs and used it just now. Used it all today, just doing the small job. And there's nothing to complain about. The only thing that's kind of weird is the rev up sounds kind of grimy and gritty. I'll see if you can hear it. It doesn't sound as smooth as it used to when I first bought it, but they fixed it and it works and I'm not complaining. So this is my all time favorite nail gun, just for all around, if you were gonna buy one nail gun, just to do basic trim, this would be the nail gun I recommend. Obviously this is not gonna be able to do everything, set doors, other things that are heavier, that are gonna require more than an 18 gauge, like a 15 gauge or a 16 even. But this will get most of your door casings, crown moldings, baseboards, all that kind of stuff. But I'll keep you updated. We'll see what happens with this gun. But now we're leaving this job and gonna go an hour south and see if we can get another job because that's the name of the game in this stuff so we're heading out well maybe i'm heading out john might stay here and paint all right i'm rolling out from the estimate now and this was a good one i like the like the ideas that she had um it's gonna be that house back over there i don't know if you could see that probably not but it's a new new construction house. They just moved in. And we're gonna be trying to do an accent wall. So I gotta get a price on that. Probably using one by four. I like these kind of jobs. It's gonna be something like this. I'll show you, I'll pull over here. It's gonna be something like that. So you can see that dresser there with the vase and everything on it. But that trim work in the back that's what we're going to be going for and not a difficult job but definitely interesting if we get this job there will be a video on it and uh, i'll explain to you how i would do it it looks to me like it's a big rectangle with another small rectangle inside of it and then squares in each corner that's basically what we're going to make if we get the job and you know me, I'm going to probably pocket hole that whole thing just to keep everything flush. I'm a pocket hole in machine. Matthias Wandel would hate me. 
All right, I gotta start driving. All right, I'm back at this job, back at this house, getting ready to touch up and finish up the day and finish up this video. But before I do, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone who came to the Good of the Land Festival and said hi to us and shook our hand and told us how they found our channel. It was just crazy experience, awesome community, so thank you. We even had one guy bring a piece of Colonial Crown molding and asked us to autograph it, to sign it. Awesome. You brought this just for me? Yeah, yeah. Sure did. That's so cool. Hey, we're, we're from the ski. <laughs> so you want to sign it too? No, is that it, John? <laughs> Which was just blew my mind because that's awesome, you know, that people care that much. It just, I, I know that people view our videos, but I don't ever put a face to it. I don't really know who it is. So, you know, to see who's on the other side of YouTube is, is awesome. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, go down, McKee. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate how clean the show yeah, is, cool. how family oh, friendly yeah. it is. <laughs> What's your name? Bobby. Bobby? Yeah. yeah I like your oh, channel cool. pretty regular. That's and, uh, awesome. Thank you for all the information. It's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. It. Yeah. And we even had a guy bring his nine year old son that watches our videos and he's really interested in finished carpentry and woodworking and he wanted to take a picture with us. I mean, that's, that's just cool. I gave him a shirt, finished carpentry shirt, and it just blows my mind that people care so much. We also got to meet Essential Craftsman and his son, Nate, who does the videos for him, and that was just a really cool experience. Awesome people. I'll play some of the footage from that right now. What kind of finished carpentry do you like to do and do you bring to the channel? Well, we have a business in Dallas here, uh -huh. and it's all crown molding, baseboard, I see. door install, wainscot, uh -huh. pretty much anything interior trim, uh -huh. except in, stairs In structures, cabinets. mostly? Yeah, yeah, we're in residential homes, Okay. so we don't do like any commercial. Right, anything. and not furniture, that sort of thing. No, no, I don't have a shop for that. Yeah. Like, people ask us to do cabinets, but right. we're mobile. Yeah. We work out of a truck. I love your truck, yeah. by the way. Yeah. That big diesel <laughs> beast. Little tank, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm going to get an enclosed trailer one of these days and set it up with a cleaner, drier, and nicer work. Me well, good to meet you. Good luck Enjoy on everything, man. Yes, sir. All right. See you. Right. You, know, you bet. Well, you're great to see you. Like I said, um, one of your videos and also uh, the tips from a shipwright guy, you know him? Yeah, yeah. I've seen a couple of his. I watched you years ago, and at the time, I remember thinking, like, oh, that is so neat. This guy's putting himself out there and got all these skills and making videos, and it didn't occur to me even then, like, we should try something like that but you've been you're a pioneer yeah, in making these thanks. videos man you're a you you've been a cool trailblazer yeah i can't I, I remember exactly the video it was some trim trick you know cutting these miter angles might have been crown i might have been trying to do crown so that's going to do it for this video next week we got beadboard we're doing and we got a full week i need to look at the schedule see what we're doing but we'll make some videos about that stuff and we'll see y'all on the next video take care